Hello guys, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing good. In this video, I am going to talk about how to auto increment a fielder column in a tabular form. There are few steps you have to follow to achieve that. First thing is, there is a system entity which is present in application platform with this name line number. You can search it in the AOT and then simply drag and drop it to your table fields whatever the table you want to you want to implement auto increment field you just drag and drop it and you may change it change the name of it according to your project requirement and then in the table create an index with this table with this field whatever the field you have added and in the form you add this table as a data source in your case the data source might have already been added if it is already added just refresh it refresh the data set okay add your table as a data source in my case it's a brand new form so i am adding this table as a data source and after doing that change the property of data source the, whichever is the table okay and set the counter property with this name this name now in the same data set data source just override the create method and in that create method it has a default append property with the uh, with the value default value as false now you need to change it to that is because this will ensure data is inserted at the bottom of the grid or table okay which in turn generate a positive line number otherwise it is going to generate negative line number this you have to remember and let's see the steps i followed to achieve this let me delete let me refresh this i haven't uh, I've, i've just created the project and i have been experimenting with this let's see how this works here you see the form is opened okay there are already few lines that were already inserted here we have this field i have added it twice so, sorry about that and as soon as i click new the line number is already having the last counter as 3 let me click new so it is generating 4 5 6 and so on so you can see this and you need to change the format according to your project requirement and the decimals are not usually uh, needed we trim that okay this is how the output is let us see how this is implemented uh, behind the scenes so i'm going to explain the step by steps okay here in the application explorer you can search for line number edt this is the line number edt and you may go to the table which is i created this table and i simply dragged and dropped this into the table here it is so you may change the field name according to your uh, form requirement or the project requirement you can just go to the properties and you may change the name but one thing you have to make sure is this edt type should be line number once you drag and drop and anyway, this is going to be taken care only you can you need to change this according to your project and after doing that you have to create an index just right click on then create an index and then simply drag and drop this here and with that you have created an index and then you may go to your form you may go to your form here i have created this form hng auto increment and then you add the data source as this table you may again simply drag and drop the table and it the data source will be added with it all the fields will also be coming and then go to the data source properties go to the data source properties and change the counter field to the the, the auto increment field you have added this is the line number and this is exactly this field 
there will be a drop down shown there there will be a drop down sh showing there and you can select that okay and where is it data source properties okay this is it change the counter field and after doing that you have to what you have to do is you have to override override create method I already did that this and after after overriding this it will it will generate this okay and with the optional parameter as append is equal to false by default you have to change this to false sorry true being doing this will doing this will <coughs> doing this will you know append each row at the end of the existing records okay you can see here as soon as i add a new it is going to append it to the existing records at the end you know, when you do this only when you set it to fall when it set it to true then only the line number will be positive otherwise it would generate a negative number and the record will be added here with a negative number you may try this out but you need a positive value okay and after doing that you simply have to refresh the data set this is my data set this is my data set you can go here and see ang sample table is my data set underscore ds ang sample uh, table underscore ds will give me the data set with that you just have to append this underscore ds to the data set data source or data set okay underscore ds will uh, will return the data set variable okay data source variable okay and you just have to recall refresh method inside the data source and that will refresh it that's it for this video thanks for watching